So to begin solving part A of this question, let's first construct a diagram of what's going on here. So right here we have this top or a bird's eye view of what's happening. You have a rectangular coil inside of a magnetic field. The magnetic field is arbitrary. It could be going right, it could be going left. Nonetheless, it will create a torque on this coil of wire and it'll cause it to rotate on an axis. So coming down here we have the side view and in red I have drawn what's called the surface normal. Now the surface normal is simply a vector that's perpendicular to the surface. So right here if it, when it's perpendicular we'll always have a 90 degree angle. And right here I have the magnetic field coming at it at a 90 degree angle. So to begin part A we need to use this torque equation and that is that the torque is equal to the number of turns times the current times the area times the magnetic field times the sine of the angle between the magnetic field and the surface normal. In some textbooks you also refer that this angle will be the angle between the magnetic field and this is called the magnetic moment we use the symbol mu to symbolize that. So this angle here represents the angle between the magnetic field and the magnetic moment, or you could think of it as the magnetic field and the surface normal. Next, we'll rearrange the equation so that we solve for i, and right here we'll begin plugging in the numbers that were given to us. So right here we have a torque of 0.15, the number of turns was 200. The area right here, remember that they gave it to us in centimeters, so we have to turn that into meters so that we get the, an area of meters squared. Right here is the magnetic field of 0 0.90 Tesla, and the angle between the magnetic field and the surface normal, or sometimes we could refer to this as the magnetic moment. So as you can see here, it is perpendicular, so it's at a 90 degree angle. So this turns it into one. This should give us a current of 0.56 amps. To solve part B, once again, we're going to make an illustration here to demonstrate what's going on in the equation. So part B wants us to find the magnitude of the torque on the coil when the magnetic field is at a 25 degree angle. So the magnetic field as I've drawn here is 25 degrees from the surface normal or the magnetic moment. Once again we're going to use the torque equation and we're going to plug in the numbers that are given to us. So we have 200 turns and recall that we got a, we got a current of 0.56 amps and once again here's the area remember that you have to change it from centimeters to meters and we have 0.9 tesla and the angle is 25 degrees from the normal this will give us a torque of 0.064 newton meters 